Hello everyone, this is Leopardmaker173 welcoming you back to Pokemon Y Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, we made it here to the HQ of Team Flare, and we made it down here to the door of Destiny. Well, honestly, this is more like the episode of Destiny, because remember all the time I said I've been fearing that the, like, the final battle ever? Well, this is it, guys. Behind this door, we're going to battle just a couple of grunts, the legendary Pokemon, and then the final battle itself. This is the episode I've been dreading all this time. This is the episode that determines whether we make it to the Pokemon League or if Team Flare wins. Let's do this. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. Somehow it's hard to breathe in here. Hey, is that thing look like a cocoon of the legendary Pokemon? Uh, it, no, it doesn't look like it's alive, but... And then they just appear out of nowhere. <coughs> okay, they're not grunts, they're admins, but whatever. Is that 99% on? Oh no, I hate being chased! Ah, oh, Shana, this again? LP Maker, can you take care of things here? I'll protect Shana. Yep. We've got to battle four admins. Let's check our party. I kind of want to keep Bully in the lead, because I'm going to be completely honest, guys. The final battle against Lysander, Navi, and Fe Well. I kind of feel like I still need Navi, but Fiend, a Fiend is just going to be, I feel like I might be sacrificing him in the final battle. But if my strategy works, it means that we survive the day, well the episode technically. <laughs> so yeah, so Fiend might be sacrificed, but it might be a necessary evil to survive this, I'm afraid. But let's hope we don't lose anyone. We'll see. Okay, Swalat. I'll go for Zen Head, but because that'll do more damage. Not as much as I was hoping for. Stockpile. Okay, uh, um, return then. I know he just buffed his defense, but this should still do more damage. It did. Thanks for only doing one stockpile, even though that pretty much guarantees your defeats. Zen Headbutt. Wah 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 bam. Wow. I'd use the Lucky Egg, but I feel- I Actually, I should turn on the experience share. Maybe? Hmm. No, I need Tauros to get the maximum experience. I want him to level up as quickly as possible. I'm hoping to get a level or two out of these out of these admins. Lightheart. Go belay. He's probably gonna go for fake out. That's what I expect from this thing. Let's see if I call it. Oh nope. This should beat it. Lightheart's pretty weak. Damn it. Okay, just finish you with Bulldoze. I'm gonna doze him down. Like a bull. Get it? Because it's a Tauros. Bull. <laughs> Maybe that's why Tauros can learn Bulldoze. Because he's a bull. Mainnet trick. Bulldoze. Okay. Rawr. There's absolutely nothing I'm going to switch into that cannot defeat you, I'm afraid, Mainetra. Navi. Eh, you're still beaten. Moonblast. He was going for Raw again, seriously? <coughs> oh well. Okay, I'm going to quickly heal up Bully. Okay, we're healed, and honestly, I just checked my bowl supply. I hope I've got enough. <laughs> K. 
Okay, one more admin after this guy. Mighty Anna. I do not fear the, the mighty of the Annas. But that one more like the mighty of the hyenas. Mighty Anna is technically a hyena. That's why it's called Mighty Anna. Well, at least I think he's a hyena. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, I had a feeling he survived that. Quote me on that. All this time I've always considered Mighty Anna like the wolf. But I think he might be a hyena. Was that taunt? Yes, good. Bye bye. Come on, I need to level up, bully. Okay, bully might level up after this hound doom. Bulldoze. Foul play. Oh crud, that could hurt. And it did. Foul play. Interesting move that is. It has a 95 based accuracy, but its uh, attack power increases the higher uh, the target of the attack. Um, the higher the target of the attack's attack stat is, the more damage it does. For the love of Goombas, why do I always get burnt? <sighs> Moonblast, this should be neutral. Neutral to defeat! Bully 47. I like how they just pound the reds like a bunch of idiots. Okay, one more. I gotta heal up again. Okay. Hey, wait, do I have any rare candies? I have one. I'm giving this to Bully. Swagger. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Okay, um, I had to. Bully was not getting any more levels, I'm afraid. No, he was not going to get any more levels. I had to give that rare candy to Bully. 48, as high as is going. For the battle of fate. Only one Pokemon, seriously, dude? The others had two. Level 50? Okay, that would explain it, why he doesn't. This one's actually stronger than the others. The others were like level 46, 48. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're probably saying. Oh, you should have gone for Zen Head, but like all the other times you was facing a gold bat. Excuse me, I'm sorry. He missed anyway! And that just removed all blooming stat changes, so he's got his speed back. Doesn't matter, I'm still faster. Boom! Well then guys, this is it. Now we gotta fight the legendary Pokemon, but you have to catch it. If you defeat it, you'll have to rebal it again instantly, I'm afraid. You have to talk to it that time, but... But yeah, the second time if you do accidentally defeat it, you do talk to it. I think you are able to leave. So, Navi has got to go in the lead, and I need to put Bully at full health. I need to make sure everybody is at maximum health. So do I have anything in here I could use? No. Okay then guys, this is it. Once I start this battle, if I capture Ivelo right away, then uh, we're going straight on to the final battle, so this is it. Everything begins now. <coughs> and also prepare for an awesome scene.
This is it. The legendary Pokemon Evettle. With awesome music. A dark flying type with dark aura. Dark aura makes all Pokemon on the field while Evettle is on the field as well. Gain uh, dark type moves, gain a 33.3% thir boost. So dark type moves become pretty deadly. I have a bit of a strategy for this actually. My first plan is to go for Lucky Chance, weaken it with Moonblast, then do some Calm Mind so it can't do too much damage to me while I catch it and keep my Pokemon at full strength for the final battle. Let's do this. Disable. Okay, I got a free turn. Woohoo! I'm ga I am super glad I kept Lucky Chance. I bet you that's probably the reason why I'm going to survive this battle. Oblivion Wing. It's like an exhaustion attack. It's basically his killing move. <laughs> and flying type move with 80 base power. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Lowered its special attack. Nice! Okay, I'm gonna do this. Calm Mind. Dark Pulse. Yeah, I know it can't do too much damage to me, but I've got to play this safe. If anything goes wrong in this battle, I am finished. Okay, I'm gonna go for Petal Blizzard. Because it's my weakest move. Perfect! Critical hit! Okay, Hyper Potion time. And then it's time to throw some Ultra Balls. I'm not taking any chances with this battle. Bow, bow, bow. Thank you for using your weakest move on me at this exact moment. I'm Lucky Chant wore off. No! I'm using Lucky Chant again. I am not. I flinched, you son of a gun! Oblivion Wing. <laughs> Critical! That's what I've been fearing! Critical hits do double damage and null and ignores any stat decreasing moves. So yes, it's hap I'm happy that that basically wasn't a kill, even with a critical hit, so Navi can survive. But the problem is though is that he gets his health back. And I just lost my ability to use Lucky Chance. Damn it! Uh, okay, I think it's time I started throwing some balls at this thing. Um just gonna go with some Entra Balls. Hmm. One, two, three. Alright! Oh, Everything went perfect! The Vettel was cool. I know, like, uh, story based legendaries are considerably easier to capture than uh, random legendaries out there in the wild you find yourself. So, yeah. Evettel, the destruction Pokemon. When it comes to life, when its life comes to an end, it absorbs all life energy of every living thing, and it turns into a cocoon once more. It's a little vague because it says every little thing, living thing. I heard one person say like every living thing in the universe, which is not true at all. Because it's like everything in like a, I think a thousand mile radius. I think around it. It's not in the universe because that would be mad. And yes, I know Evettel is on my team. But Evettel does not count. If all my poke, I will not use Evettel, and if all my Pokemon die in this in this final battle, then that's it. Game over. What a strange development. I never would have actually thought that you really are, that you were really a chosen one. <coughs> Said someone looks a little different. So this is the mighty Evettel. I expected more from a Pokemon called a legend. You desire to help. Uh, you desire help from people. You need. You need help from a human. What? What's going on with that outfit? Is that really you, Lysander? Well, whatever. Big L already beat you. What are you doing here? For me, victory is using the ultimate weapon. In order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokémon's power and send it to the weapon once again. I'll be taking the legendary Pokémon back now. This time, I won't lose. I too shall use the Mega Ring and the Mega Stone that you researched during your travels. 
This is it. The final battle of Team Flare and the battle I dread. Team Flare boss, Lysander. And the de and yes, he's got a Mega Pokemon. His Mega Pokemon is Gyarados, but if that wasn't any surprise. Oh, look at that. Evettle's out on the field. Okay, I need Evettle to die, actually. Is there anything I could do to make him die? I'm pretty sure... You know what? I'm just going to do something stupid. Has no effects. Aerobatics. Ah. Yeah, just keep on attacking me, please. Just keep on attacking... You know what? I'm going to use Disable. Oh, but I just thought of something. If he goes for Sword Stance, I'm screwed. Okay, guys, I gotta risk this. It's annoying that Evettel has to be on your team, and the first one that comes out, it's not fair on a Nuzlocke. Don't you dare use it. That's mm, what I fear. That's just not fair. You're beaten. Yeah, that really isn't fair. Haunch Crow. Okay, you know what, guys? I know I don't want to use it, but Evettel was actually an unfair th advantage for Lysander. I'm bringing Yvettel out to heal Navi. Navi should not have took that aerobatics with Sword Stance. Yeah, he really should not have. Haunch Crow uses Steel Wing. Man, barely does any damage to me. But don't worry, this is the only consistency of me using it. Aerial Ace. You know what? Yeah, it looks like Haunch Crow is actually going to beat Evettel. I will allow... I'm just going to let him beat Evettel, then there's no more uh, Evettel. One more. Okay, there we go. Evettel is gone. The unfair advantage is out of the battle. Okay, bully. Into my gate. That there is my strategy, to be honest. Intimidate on Gyarados. And the reason why I might be uh, sacrificing uh, Pyroar. Well, Fiend. Yeah. At this point, I actually want to go over to Fiend because I want to try to force his hand into Gyarados. One flamethrower should beat it at this at this range. And I really hope it does. It did. Whoa! Pyroar. Okay then, I guess it didn't fall this, uh, force his hand. Okay, um, I gotta switch to Navi here. Navi's the only one who can handle Pyroar. <laughs> Hyper Voice, no surprise. Okay, I'm going for that lucky chance. Ow. Honestly, I would just uh, stall and use Calm Minds, but there's no point because Gyarados is the physical attacker and Calm Mind is not going to help me out against that because the Gyarados has high Iron Head. Iron Head will wipe out Navi no matter what happens. Now. Let's, rev let's uh, restore Fiend, because if there's a chance Fiend can survive, I do want it. Jesus Christ, gotta heal again. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna start using, uh, I'm gonna use Calm Mind twice, and then we're gonna start to attack Pyroar. Sorry about the heal stall, but I ha this is my only way I can win. It's my only chance to win.
I got lucky with the fire blast missing. Missing. Oh, God damn it! I can't talk. I'm too scared. Lucky chant wore off. I don't feel too bad about that actually. Ha, <laughs> you missed again. Woohoo! Yes! That comes in handy. Honestly, this is uh, Navi's last chance in this battle because Navi just cannot take on the Gyarados. If I could PP stalk Gyarados out of his Iron Heads, that would work. But that's about it. Goodbye, Pyroar. And now for his final Pokemon. 55. I hope you enjoyed your levels. <laughs> there it comes, Gyarados. Intimidate. When ma now then, I can switch to Bully. I need the Intimidate off. <laughs> Mega Gyarados. Level 53, Water Dark type. I believe it has Iron Head, Aqua Tail, um. I forgot the other moves. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um. Actually, that Iron Head didn't do too much damage. I need to heal Bully. Then I'm gonna switch over to Fiends. Then back to Bully. That'll be two Intimidates. But the, I have another good reason as well. Oh, yeah, there's Aqua Tail. Another good reason as well why um, Navi is ab. God damn it. Why Navi is terrible against this battle. Because uh, Gyarados actually has a 130 base special defense in its mega form. I know if it uses Aqua Tail, it's probably over. I said that I'll probably sacrifice Fiend, and more than likely it came to fruition. Fiend, no! Ugh. Let's fiend on this thing. There. Okay, back to bully. Okay, I feel confident surviving a move. Because it's not a flying type. Guys, there is one final hope. I use bulldoze. Oh wow, I'm faster than it anyway. That might have been a bad idea then. <laughs> but it's just in case. Just in case, I have to use Navi. Because if I have to use Navi, I have to be faster than it. Because if it gets off an iron head, it's over. Looks like the two Intimidates have really come in handy. Okay, time for another Bulldoze. That essentially cuts Gyarados' speed in half, I believe. So now I'm going to start using Return. Oh, for God's sake. I'm healing again! I have to kill this thing! That Aqua Tail does so much damage, even with those two Intimidates. I know Mega Gyarados has like a 140 based physical attack strength, which is insane. <gasps> One more return might do it! Don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me! Return! Kill it! No! Bully! Critical hit! Bully! Ah, oh, this is it, guys. It all comes down to Navi. Let's hope uh, that, um... Let's pray Bully actually did it. I'm faster! We win! Oh my god! Did we just seriously survive that out of the skin of our teeth? It's over. Fools with no vision will continue to be fouled. This will begin to be foul this beautiful world. They will go on until the only thing left to do is just squabble over the remaining scraps of hope. Honestly, in some ways he's not wrong. If a meteor doesn't destroy the Earth first or the Earth doesn't explode, that's probably what's going to happen. In real life. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I can't make a convincing yell. Um, I know what, you know what I think? Even though there's only a little bit of something, it's still best to share it. 
even you managed to use Mega Evolution because that because Gyarados shared its power with you, didn't it? And it's not just Gyarados, but your other Pokemon too. The legendary Pokemon is gone, so you cannot use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about your, the future by yourself. I think everybody should work together to make a better, beautiful world. If that was possible, all wars would have ended long ago. The only f I can only see one future. One where selfish, foolish humans think about nothing other than themselves and steal more and more from one another. It's a tragic future. The original purpose of this device was to bring, bring a Pokemon back to life. But then the Ancient King transformed it into the ultimate weapon. Where the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took, it took back much of its energy. Its pow power has been sent, uh, sent to the ultimate weapon. There's not much power left, but there is enough for, to use it once. LP Maker, Sycamore's pupils. The ultimate weapon is a flower like blooms to no avail, just like me. But this ends here. I will show you what the remaining power can do. LP Maker, Shauna, let's get out of here. Another cutscene. And that's it. It's over. We somehow survived, guys. We somehow survived. Phew. I'm so glad you're all safe. I really respect the courage and kindness you all showed. Thank you. We're all fine. Are you guys all okay, Trina? Yep, as you can see, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. We worked together to save the Pokemon connected to the stones on the Route 10. I mostly left the battle in, uh, with Team Flare to San and Deoxo, though. Who are San and Deoxo? Deoxo you speak of. We're the Max Heroes. Don't worry about it, Tiano. We're all doing the best we can to stop Team Flare's plans. Oh, we have a little bit of news for you all. We managed to destroy the machine that Lysander's lab was spying on. That was spying on people's holocaster transmissions. So we won't have to deal with Team Flare anymore. And I can go back to filling up my Pokedex. So it's finally over, right? We can go back to our adventure, right? Let's go back to Anastar City and start over from where we left off. Thank you, Big Al. I have much respect for you as a friend. Because as I respect you that I want to beat you in a Pokemon battle as a your rival, I really mean it. We're not done talking just yet. <coughs> a long, long time ago. A very long time ago. The man made the ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokemon. The Pokemon granted eternal life learned this. The resurrected eternal Pokemon left the man's side. The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so they could be together. The day after day after day passed, but there was never to meet. Eventually, he became a mere shell of a man. The man considered uh, condemned <laughs> to wonder forever by the light of the weapon. And the Pokemon that wanders eternally. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? Well, guys, that is it. That's it's been a difficult pat battles, very difficult. 
But before we end off this episode, we've got to say goodbye to two new comrades. Two comrades that if it was not for their efforts, we would have surely failed that battle. Let's say goodbye and put Bully and Fiend to rest. Oh god. In some ways, our troubles are still not over, because we barely have anything to go. You... You just go in here. I don't give a damn about you. Okay. Gotta take off the items because, well, they could be useful. Alright, so... Goodbye, Fiend. If it weren't for you, we would not have been able to lower that garage's attack as far as we did. Thank you for your honourable sacrifice, my friend. And now, Bully. Thank you, too. Once again, your bulldoze intimidates. You were amazing. If it wasn't for you, and for Fiend, we would have surely lost this. Goodbye. Rest well. Wherever the heck you go from this point on. Okay. Even though that is pretty much the end, there is just one more thing I want to do before we end off this episode. So, I'm going to meet you guys back in the city with the six gym leads of the fairy type gym. So I'm going to go and grab Aerodactyl. Beep! Okay, we are here. I've updated the death counter. Now, the reason why we're here is because I found off our screen before this uh, a few days ago that you can actually catch wild Pokemon here. Either by surfing or by fishing. Uh, except you can't surf. <laughs> so, we are going to capture a Pokemon here because we haven't done it yet. And it, honestly, it's only one Pokemon and also its evolution. So let's catch this thing. <coughs> Pokemon I've never used as well. Bullywag! Go Navi. It's only level 15, so I don't I don't expect too much of a fight on capture. We're just gonna go straight for a quick ball to get a quick capture. Critical capture! Except that the critical capture isn't doing anything for me. Critical capture determines on how many Pokemon you've captured. And depending on how many Pokemon you captured increases the critical capture's actually in, uh, power increase. Except, well, I might actually have a little extra strength. Okay, Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon. The direction of its spirals on its belly differs in the area. It's more adept to swimming than walking. Nickname it? We have to. But I have absolutely no idea what to call it. <laughs> you know what? I don't get it at this point. We're just going to call it Polly. Because every single one of its evolved forms begin with Polly. There's Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, and Politoad. It's going to be called Polly. Polly the Poliwag. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing just one quick check. Ooh, a special attack increase. That's pretty interesting. Looks to be a mild nature with water gun, hypnotis, a bubble, and double slap. Oh yeah, with the damp ability as well. I'm gonna train this thing off screen until it's level until I'm gonna raise it to level 48, guys, because well, it's the closest thing. If I I'm gonna do I have a water stone? Do we have a water stone? If not, then that means I missed it, because I should sure get one. Yep, got a water stone. It's going to evolve into a polyrath, even though because I do have the King's Rock, I could trade and evolve into a polytoad. Actually, I might do that. You know what? Yes, we're going to have a special attack in polytoad. I can show you the trade uh, the, when it evolves due to trade, but that will be like a cut clip for the very beginning of the next episode. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when Poliwag is level 48 and a Politoad, when we're going to go back to Anastar City and continue our adventure. We made it, guys. We have a chance to make it to the Elite Four. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.